ran away from who we are tonight. And uh, yeah, that's disappointing. And that, that's on me and our coaching staff. Uh, our kids just ran away from the, who we are tonight. Our identity is pitching and defense. I thought we pitched it very well. We did not defend the field well. Um, C.T. Bradford doesn't make a play that he's made a thousand times. We got easy double play that we don't convert. Uh, we're letting batter runners get to second base on on singles because uh, we can't make plays. We got infield in. We can't field the ball and throw a guy out at the plate. Um, we, you know, we just lost our identity tonight. So. Uh, we're taking softball swings early in the ball game when it matters the most. Runners in scoring position instead of putting the barrel where we want it to be, and it's it's a real lack of maturity. So, um, you know, we we got to get our identity back because uh, tonight was, you know, it was a complete lack of identity. I think we got some we got guys on our in our ball club who are trying to pretend to be something that they're not. Um, but I thought Benny was great tonight. I thought that. Uh, Ross came in and did a, a nice job. I thought Lingren had electric stuff, and Jonathan gave up some contact, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't explosive contact. It was just balls that found holes, and we didn't defend very well for him at all. We got a called third, I mean, a swing and third strike that hits our glove. Um, you know, we're, we're just we're kind of running around behind the plate like we don't know what we're doing. Um, so we we got to get that under control also. So we got a long way to go. I still believe this club's going to be a very very nice club. They're just in search of their identity right now, and it's our job as a coaching staff to help them find that. John, you've talked a lot about how these midweek games can kind of define your maturity and, and comfort level just because of what happens after a weekend, and you got to get mentally prepared again after a couple of days. Did you see those things tonight that, yeah, that didn't I thought, happen? I thought we were very immature. Um, I, I, I thought yesterday was the best practice we've had all year, and I thought we handled that in a very mature way. But. You know, in baseball, if you're just on your heels for one second and that ball finds you and you're not in position, um, then the, the games can just beat the daylights out of you, and that's what happened tonight. You know, the, the ball hit to uh, Pirtle. He's just got to knock that ball down and keep a guy from scoring, and we don't you know, do that. He's one of the best defenders in second base in the country, and he got caught on his heels right there. Uh, Matthew Britton didn't move his feet on a ground ball, hit right to him. He got underneath and sailed that thing in the right field. I mean, that's... It's a gift. The pitcher creates sync, he creates movement, he gets you the double play ball, and we throw it in the right field. Um, that's either not being ready to enter the game when he did, or it's a lack of preparation, or, or you know, whatever it is. But the, you know, the game found him, and we gotta, we gotta do a better job with that because that's who we are. Our identity is pitching and defense, and we gotta defend a ton better than that. When you say that guys are trying to beat things in the calm, what, what do you mean by that? I mean like softball swings. With runners in scoring position. And what I mean by that is, you know, the big, hefty, 280-pound guy who's, you know, swinging as hard as he can on, on the weekends. He's got a job, and then you know, we, that's that's the type of swings we took today. Um, instead of doing really what Memphis did, just sticking your nose in there and just flicking the barrel of the ball and making somebody make a play, we just did we did not do that. Um, we're, we're taking selfish swings, um, and it's our job to make sure that we don't do that uh, as much. But, um, you know, where it's a team game is we got to have some older guys do what we did last year, and that's help us run this club, help us understand what our identity is and, and the little things, the little tenets of our ball club that, that uh, can make us a good club down the stretch here. You kind of talked about it a little bit, but the pitchers really kind of seem to do their job tonight. Yeah, about Benny, Benny was great. Um, certainly Ross was great. I thought Ross was electric. Um, I thought that uh, Holder gave up some contact, but, you know, the first guy gets on, on a strikeout, you know, and that's the kind of stuff that it's just a disaster. You can't allow that stuff to happen. Um, so we gotta we gotta find the right components to stop that kind of stuff from happening. Decision to use John when Hold Linger struck out four straight. You were just trying to get John some work at that point, or just a matchup? Well, the game's on the line. We have a run one lead. We have the best closer in baseball. That's not that's not a that's no brainer. I do that a hundred times in a row. Uh, John Holder's been pretty successful, I think. Staff will back that up. You, you and Butch, or your staff, kind of look at sitting down some older kids that might be doing some stuff that you're not liking right now, or, or you kind of let them figure it out. Yeah, I, I, I don't think anybody needs to be sat down. Certainly, we're playing a lot of players right now, but um, yeah, I mean, whoever earns the opportunity to play is going to play. But uh, yeah, I, 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 uh, I wouldn't say it's a lack of uh, maturity on our kids' part. I would say. You know, we were not ready when the time came tonight. We were, on, we were not on the balls of our seat. We, we didn't attack the game. The game attacked us. We got on our heels, and, and the game beat us. And, um, you know, you play good teams like Memphis, and they're a very good team. You know, that, that's what's going to happen. So I, I think, uh, you know, 
you know, they did a, a nice job. Um, I, I think the first inning really helped them. You know, you, you get runners, you get bases loaded, you get runners in scoring position with less than two outs, and you don't take a meaningful swing. You don't put a ball in play. You don't force somebody to make a play. Um, that's the kind of things that haunt you. And, uh, you know, we, we had a little bit of immaturity in those in those situations. We took big, big, big effort field swings. So, um, you know, we got to work on that. we got to get better at that because if you do that during the course of the year in our league, you know, you, you're going to get beat a lot. When, when guys see a West Ray or, or a Brett Pearl make, you know, a follow-up player making error, does that affect the younger guys as well um, mentally? Well, I don't think so. I, I, I do think that, um, again, not, not being ready, not being focused in, Every minute for three hours during the course of a ball game, if you're not focused in, you know, the game's going to find you. And that's what those two guys are really good at. I mean, Wes Ray is focused in all the time. And to Wes's credit, on the ball that we didn't get to play at the play, he still finished the play and we still got him out there at first base uh, on a very difficult flip play to second base. Um, but, yeah, I, I just I feel like we were a little bit in the twilight zone. We just weren't ready in key situations in this game to make plays defensively. John in the ninth, you know, Bradford gets Bradford gets thrown out at second, but Henderson does everything he can to get the get a bat on the ball. Did you have a play on there? Yeah, we had a hit and run on because it's two one right. and we can't hit and do a double play there. DeMarcus is our best hit and run guy and you're not thinking he wants to throw a ball out of the zone and go to three one right there. So accidentally he throws a pitch out of the zone that we can't get to. You know, if, if that ball's anywhere near the you know the plate you got a ground ball to the right side, the second baseman's covering. You know, now you could score a run and have a run on third base with less than two. At very worst, if he gets an out, you have a runner in scoring position, you're going to have a, a one-run ball game right there. That's our thoughts with DeMarcus. That's how we have to play because this ballpark's not going to yield, you know, somebody stepping up there and hitting one over the light. So but, you have to play a little differently. But that's just the game getting you, right? That's not a mental error by anybody no, in, all, in no. that play. No. I mean, and it's not a pitch out either. Right. Get through it. Right. You know, he just missed location and they won. They right. made a mistake and won out of the situation. Okay. He throws it around the strike zone there on a 2-1. It's, you know, then I, you know we're going to put that ball in play. But that, that's just how the evening went for us. Uh, and we probably didn't deserve to have a pitch around the strike zone there because we didn't earn, you know, many breaks during the course of the ballgame.